Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Now celebrating 17 years of broadcasting success, here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again, both for our radio audience here in Mississippi, as well as those tuning in online through our friends at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music Podcast. Glad you all could be with us as well. Well, I've already seen it here in my area. People are already making plans to get out and about. We've been sheltering in place for quite a while, and especially heading into the summer. I know a lot of you want to get out there to be able to enjoy yourselves, enjoy some sun, and also have some fun. But why is it so important for us to make sure that we're protecting ourselves in the process. We're so excited to welcome Dr. Carolyn Robinson to our program today. She's not only a dermatologist, but also the founder of Tone Dermatology. She's going to share with you guys some great tips to make sure that you're taking care of your skin as you're going out and having some fun. Dr. Robinson, thank you so much for the time. Really appreciate it. Oh my goodness. Thanks for having me. Glad to do it. So one of the things that I've noticed when I was prepping for your segment, you spent a lot of time talking about the importance of SPF or sun protection factor. Why is it so important that we incorporate SPF into our daily routines, especially if we're going to be out and about? Right. Yeah, everyday sun and UV protection is actually vital for our skin's health and appearance. And we may not even realize it, but even while running simple errands or sitting indoors near a window, we're exposed to the UV and the sun rays that can add up over time. And unprotected exposure to the sun's rays can lead to several skin issues, some really common ones like dark spots, inflammation, wrinkles, and worst-case scenario, skin cancer. So what, we need to wear sunscreen daily, and that's crucial for our skin health. Well, and, and, and I think our, our audience probably have seen the commercials, Dr. Robinson, they understand the importance of sunscreen, but what should they consider when they're choosing the sunscreen that's right for them? Right. Well, I always say first choose the sunscreen that you love to wear, and um, that should be one that's SPF 30 or above, and it should be one that's broad spectrum. And I would add that you should consider a mineral sunscreen, especially if you have sensitive skin or conditions that are triggered by the sun, um, because those sunscreens are going to be better uh, tolerated by the skin. And actually, a recent study um, showed that 70% of women prefer mineral sunscreens, but the challenge is that these women, um, they, you know, they didn't find that the sunscreens had the right, like, finish. So they were greasy or they were difficult to blend in or they left a white cast um, or they just lacked additional benefits. And so I love Olay Regenerous Mineral Sunscreen Moisturizer with SPF 30. It's formulated with zinc oxide, which is the first um, 100% mineral sunscreen active by Olay. And it utilizes powerhouse ingredients that provide broad spectrum SPF protection and hydration. And in addition to zinc oxide, it's formulated with glycerin, vitamin B3, peptides, and vitamin E. And it's fragrance free for a non sticky, really uh, finish that's going to disappear evenly into all skin tones. Oh, I love the fact that you mentioned it being even for all skin tones. So, Dr. Robinson, one of the things that I, I noticed that came in when I announced that you were going to be coming on is talking about how we can get the most of the sunscreen. It's one thing to use it, but how can we get the most out of it? it are there do's and don'ts when it comes to applying sunscreen? Yeah. <laughs> the, one, of the, one of the biggest don'ts is you should not apply it bef immediately before sun exposure. Try to allow at least 30 minutes before leaving the house so that you can uh -huh. ensure that the sunscreen ingredients are are giving you that maximum protection. Well, wow, love that. Any other tips you'd like to share with our audience, Dr. Robinson, they need to be aware of as we're getting ready for the summer to come in? Yeah, you know, I, I spend a lot of time talking about sunscreen, as you mentioned, but it's also important to practice sun protective behaviors. So seeking shade, wearing hats, sunglasses, and other sun protective clothing, that's going to be important um, to give you 
maximum protection as well. And then for people of color, they're actually prone to skin cancers that are not in sun-exposed areas. So I encourage everyone to get comfortable with checking your skin at home and to see a dermatologist um, to have your skin checked as well. Love that. It's okay to have the fun, but make sure we're protecting ourselves in the process. And, Dr. Robinson, you've given us some great tips here. Again, everyone, Dr. Carolyn Robinson has been our guest, not only a dermatologist, but also the founder of Tone Dermatology. Uh, Dr. Robinson, where can our audience go for more information? Yeah, well, the Olay or Generous Mineral Sunscreen Moisturizer is at Olay.com for under $30 or at your local retailers. All right. Dr. Robinson, thank you so much again for stopping by. Really appreciate it and looking forward to speaking with you again. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Hey, glad to do it. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Now let's go make today amazing. Take care. <laughs>